Let's see if they'll burn. Okay, so we are here doing a mining guide for Monster Hunter Rise. So this is just to gather your ores nice and quickly and do a good loop. So obviously this is the first mining outcrop here. And then we can aim up here. Get this next one here. That's two very good sources of Macalite early game. Now I like to start from here just because you can form a little loop. So we'll run along here. Now there's no need to go hardcore because if you just take your time and chill you can consistently farm and not have to wait for respawns so we hit the great wire bug next oh look at that we got this boulder lizard nice jump on the old dog again I like to hit the bone piles as well just because you never know eroded skeletons and things like that are kind of come in handy especially for early game weapons also get these for some extra points okay he's all right move along up here Wait for him to come back up. Just blind everything just for fun. Hit our next mining outcrop. So again, another good source of Macalite ore. Follow this path around down here past map 7. Now sometimes I'll duck out here if I can be bothered picking up this bits and pieces like some nitro shrooms, some fertile muds from a baroth drop. I usually try and hug this wall until we get to here. Ooh, got some company. Next mining outcrop. So it's usually iron and earth crystal for that one. Let me come up to this one. Again, some Macalite Earth Crystal and Iron Ore. Finally, we jump back down to here. Okay. And we come to the hole. So, and we simply run around here. So you can see there will be a, uh, whoops, wrong side. So it should be able to drop down. And then we got some, another bone pile. Some Mandragora, which is not bad. Another mining outcrop. That one wasn't really that flash, but that's fine. Jump down here. Another bone pile. Got some Desert Rose. Last but not least. Uh, and, ooh. so I'm a bit early because I'm used to doing this run, but normally you'd make it back here and this will be respawned and your run will be good to go again. And that's basically the basic mining run for this, so. Let's try this again. Ooh. there we go see so it was just a little bit too soon so that one will be respawned again then we go up to here and this one is respawned again and so on so that's how you can get a extreme amount of macalite really really quickly and for your early game ores that's perfect uh, so now we'll move on to the 
uh, sort of Dragonite Ore, Firestone and everything else from the Lava Cave. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so starting again in the next section, as you can see where we are here in the map nine, uh, we're going to, first of all, start by vaulting up here. So this is the first part of the run. And as you can see here, we've got these geysers. So if you vault up there or, oh, I oh know, made it. So first thing you want to do is catch the updraft and then come down to this first mining outcrop here. And then drop down here, I believe. No, oh, I caught the wrong one. That's the first one anyway. Uh, this one can be a little bit tricky actually. So the once you get the hang of it it'll be all right but updraft there it is you can grab the rock lizard get a dragon eye oh nice so is it here that i dropped down yeah and then off this edge here ah oh, come on there we go and that's the next um Next mines, that's the first two of this route. Done. And then we catch this geyser back up to the top. We want to head here. So this uh, is just the unique item, so for points. So that's not really what we're chasing with the ore though. So then the next spot I do is we run up towards map 14. And we cut down here. Ooh. I don't know why I did that. So then we head up around here. So this is a continuous loop, so you can take more time to get extra ore and stuff along the way, but what I've found is that this is the most efficient way to do it. So then we have our first ore hit in here, so we got some dragon fell berries, some firestone nitro shrooms we go up to this rocky outclose here and then it's really hard to spot but there's actually a ledge just there so if you can crack it up there oh yeah ooh, so it's a bit weird to sort of see but then it brings it out to here so next you can run down here uh you've got another unique item scorched ore You've got, I believe these are Mandragoras, which are also good for making cool stuff. Now, you can vault up here if you want to. I usually don't bother, but uh, there's a Scorched Ore here. Um, if you can be bothered going up onto that one up there, uh, it's a little bit tricky to hit. So usually if you want to hit that, you just go over this way wait for your respawn to so then double vault up that way and then oh. yeah so there's not really anything worth getting up there but uh, then we move on to the main bread and butter of the mining so we've got this one here which is a Macalite down there. Got some nice Dragonite ore. Over here you'll usually find a Relic note, but that's not there. Uh, then we come back to this one. And we got a mining point here. Now, sometimes you'll find like a phoenix looking bird thing here. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. I attacked it and it flew away and I haven't seen it since. So, rip on that one. But then we got another mining outcrop here. Macalite Firestone, not bad. And then we come through this outcrop door here. More Dragonfell berries, uh, Gloam Glass, and some Adamant Seeds, which are not bad. Drop straight down this hole here. And we land back in here. 
down at map 11. So then we're running down, running down. And there'll be another mining point to hit on this corner here. So I like to, again, to keep the respawn times nicely. I'll stop and pick up these monster fossils because it's extra points. Uh, at this mining outcrop. So we've got some more firestone, which is good. And now we want to make our way back towards uh, the hole in map 10. So we take a left here. Last mining outcrop. Some more firestone. And then we end up back at our starting point. And then back to these. And once these are respawned, oh, dump the vault again. As you can see there, uh, drop down here. Ah, there we go. So everything's respawned again, and you can start the loop again. So yeah, I mean, just that one. That one run, what did we get? So in that one run, we got five Dragonite or nine Firestones, four Macalite, three Earth Crystals, and five Iron Ore. So if you've got the Lava Caverns unlocked, it's definitely, it's definitely not bad. And yeah, that's basically the best way to unlock and mine ores early game quickly. Uh, thanks for watching, and feel free to check out my Twitch streams. Uh, that's ordinary, uh, Twitch TV. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching and peace.